Hey everybody, you're watching The Game Flames here on the Family channel on YouTube. Today we are doing a demo of Danger the Game, and we specifically have the fantasy theme, Mythical Mayhem, Bizarre Dangers and Rescues. And I love that it has coins, it has a d20, it has a bestiary. So let's get right into playing. It is not super complicated, and once you see how it goes, you're gonna love it. As long as you have a creative team in front of you that knows how to spin wild tales and be absolutely ridiculous. All of these are going to be things that can get incorporated uh, as we play the game, but for now they're not terribly important. We have already pre-shuffled these decks. We're going to leave these over here in easy reach of everyone as we might need them later. In the meantime, each player gets three tools. Each player also gets three skill cards. And each player gets one plot twist card. Like all the best games, they have a mechanism for determining who goes first. It's whoever lives life the most dangerously, which I believe we already stated before the game is probably me, because I work in front of large moving equipment and have to wear lots of safety equipment. I'm going to keep the bestiary down here as a reference. Ready to go? Let's do it. Hi, over here in this corner, I'm McGann. Over to my right is Shin, and on top is Bagel. Bop. My companion has turned on me because... Four. They're being controlled. So, I have a companion. They have turned on me. The two of you will choose both one skill and one tool and begin crafting your particular explanation as to how you're going to save me. Now, the rules say I can expand upon this, so I'm going to say that my companion has turned on me at the very start of the dungeon because they're not very good at what they're doing. They should have waited until at least the midpoint or possibly right before the final boss. We're just getting going. Just open the first door, and then my companion goes, Mwahahahahaha. Can I add a plot twist? or do I have to save that? You may play plot twists on Bagel if they correspond to the appropriate skill or tool as Bagel is explaining things. I don't think there's a rule against playing a plot twist on yourself if you want, but plot twists are coded for either skills or tools. Go ahead, Bagel. Okay, my skill is the ability to create golems from things around me. So earth, grass, fire, a lack of self-esteem, you name it. I, I, I could be anything. Going full amity there. And my tool is a tinfoil hat of invisibility. You'll think you're haunted. I just have this hat on and boom, I'm touching walls, I'm touching floor, I'm touching, I don't know, someone's beard. And you know what? They are incapacitated. They are gone. They are afraid. Because you know what else I did? I grabbed a handful of spiders. When most people hate spiders, and I'm assuming your companion does as well. Oh, I would assume so. So imagine a bunch of wrinkles Killing spiders, 1,000 spiders, like Lady Arachne from Soul Eater, just, just, uh, just going after your guy, and then he's, oh, he's freaking out, he falls down the stairs, because he's scared. Spider Golem. Yes. Spider Golem. Yes. Terrifying. Yes. It's okay. terrifying, but, but, you are attacking the wrong person, because the companion is being controlled. Well, we don't know where does, he is, does silly. Does not want to, does not want to, be, so you don't want don't, to hurt don't the inter person. Don't interfere in her story. I will hurt whoever I please. So, my tool is a pair of wearable minotaur horns. I love it. Because, you know, you always need the opportunity to stab somebody. Well, what if there's, like, he... hanging rope? You'll get stuck. Well, but, that... but, 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 with my skill that I can imprint memories into others, I, I would choose to go to your friend and imprint the good memories of the good times you had together so that he has an existential crisis and questions himself. <laughs> he's being... I, I'm in the middle of my story. <laughs> he questions himself and what he's doing and why he's doing it, and then he will tell us who he's being controlled by, at which time I can stab that person with the minotaur horns because because this is fantasy era. There is no jail. He's okay, being mind am, controlled, am, not brainwashed. Okay, yeah, you are bring this up. The important thing is that you both get your rescue plans out. But after that is the objection phase. And this is where you may begin to, to start poking holes in people's plots. You want a spider golem, this poor companion who oh. has done nothing wrong before now does not want to be hurting anybody and you just want to like have him fall off a cliff covered in spiders <laughs> i have a plan to save him you have a plan that will fail you don't My know that <laughs> we know the spiders will kill him we don't know we don't know why are we all pointing 
No, that's fine. <laughs> We're having a dang on Rompa trial. Anyway, your plan is applying to the wrong scenario here. My plan, at the very least, will incapacitate him. If he is incapacitated, no amount of mind control is going to get his mind to work if it is at rest. He cannot physically attack for us to figure no. out long enough no, no, what no. is happening. No, 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 no. Because... If I am imprinting good memories into him as I have the power to do so... He did not forget. So. <laughs> he is being controlled. But, but he can be so overwhelmingly conflicted with the good memories and the good times with Shin that he absolutely would not want to harm him. And he would go, oh, <laughs> he doesn't want to harm Dr. anyone. Dr. Melanoma. Acc that's according, her <laughs> according to your logic, he didn't want to hurt anyone anyway. So why would him extra not wanting to hurt Shin make him want to do it any less? Like, like my control man, maybe he's seeing that. Maybe he's seeing that he's is go attack feel. him attack him he's you just killed him because of your bad decision <laughs> he's gonna feel so bad being flooded with these wonderful memories yeah he's gonna feel so he's bad when he drives the knife through he's, his chest he's going to tell us who is controlling him no he won't he's being controlled okay, you can't okay, you don't okay. have will okay. better than spiders <laughs> It okay. doesn't have Everything to be spiders as, with you. Because they're sexy. Unfortunately, as an anime fan, I, I must go with the idea of saving saving everyone by the power of friendship. <sighs> Where, where's so, our discard? The discard piles will be up here. Do we replace? Yes. So make sure that draw back up three tools and three skills. If you did not get the danger card, you get to draw an additional point plot twist card. There is no limit to the number of plot twist cards you can have so, in your hand. Since I was chosen in, do I get to do the next danger? Uh, it's not because you are chosen. The way this game decides to work is it's always going to the left Okay, so of the it, it is me either way then. Correct. My danger is you're trying not to look the baby basilisk in the eyes, but it's just too darn cute. Basilisk, large venomous serpent with the ability to turn its victims to stone via its cold gaze. Toothy reptile with venom down its fangs. Its eyes say, trust in me, but never do it. It's a petrifying stare. I mean, it will literally turn you to stone. We have all seen Harry Potter too. Let's, uh, let's, let's get your answers. Bagel has been waiting a long time, so let's see how you plan to save. I am so stinky winky that... All monsters avoid me. I also have a blank magic scroll. So my plan, my plan, is to get up right behind you and the basilisk will be like, Wah! and he'll slither away. And if that doesn't work, blank scroll. I can use it to cover your eyes so you can't even be tempted to look at him. You can't see him. He can't see you. It's the basic hide and seek trick of nah -uh, uh So you're saying you'll either blind me with the paper so that the basilisk can't bother me or you will smell so bad that the basilisk will nope right out of there. Yes. Yes, the nope rope shall leave. Shin. I've got this covered because I have the special skill of interchangeable vision. So we can go with x-ray vision. So you can't actually look the basilisk in the eye. You only see its eye sockets. We can change to infrared so you can only see its body warmth. You can't stare it right in the eye anymore because you can't actually see its eyes. Therefore, completely protecting you without blinding you. Which means my... Uh, Fine, fine, get on it. Get on with it. But your guilt standards are so low, and no one thinks you can do it anyway. Well, I believe in myself, and the power of friendship will will somehow see that us through. That was last round. And regardless, regardless of whether or not my interchangeable vision actually works, I actually have a basilisk fang dripping with venom. And as we all know, the only thing more deadly than a basilisk stare is a basilisk fang. So I can just go in there, just walk right up to it, and make with the stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. That's aggressive for a baby snake. It's a basilisk it turns people to stone yeah so don't look at it yeah i won't look at it because i can stab it with its own venom no you see it's a basilisk fang this is a baby i'm guessing that we've already slain its parent and we ripped its fangs out so now you're attacking a defenseless orphan yes how could it's you... a basilisk that is monster racist not all basilisks are monsters okay that's probably true but this one is it's so darn you cute don't... yeah cute yeah he's so cute is always evil. Are you calling Migs evil? <gasps>
She plot twist you again. I didn't... She's not cute. She's adorable wouldn't and that beautiful. Put, wouldn't that put her higher up on your scale for beauty equals evil? I didn't yes, think you could cute possibly is evil. sink that cute low. Cute is evil, but beautiful, beautiful is good and rich. Rising and of the Shield Hero. Rising of the Shield Hero. Do, do you have... Beautiful princess. Beautiful princess. She was the worst antagonist ever. She sucked. And well, it's a good thing we're not there because we're playing danger. Oh yes, we are. But but. That snake could just be looking. And besides, if you were to kill it with venom from the same species, who's to say that it doesn't already have an immunity? You might wound it, but you might not kill it. And what well, what about your idea, this whole, oh, I'm going to be all stinky. Well, you know what? Snakes smell with their tongues. What if you smell bad, but you actually taste delicious? What if it starts slithering towards you because of how delicious you are, and you've doomed your both of you because she can't see because you've blinded her with the scroll? It's a scroll. She can see light. She is intelligent enough to find where the light is and walk her way out of the cave if I were to perish. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think I've heard enough. Cut, cut us off, cut us off. Here, here's what I'm going to say. You have some interesting ideas here. Not sure if I love the idea of stabbing a baby to death. And it's he, a basil. Why does everyone have a problem with this? It's did. evil. By the way, you didn't call you evil. No, I said you're beautiful and adorable. And but what actually sold this was you sold me on her idea because of what you just said of what if she tastes delicious but it's a baby basilisk so what's it it's gonna just nom 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 her toe it has a venomous fang no you have a you venomous said fang. yeah you said it's a basilisk they're both basilisks this is a baby yeah so your fang might, wouldn't even work it might not even have it might not even have teeth yet this is absurd <laughs> you sold me on her i'm sorry you did it to yourself uh, no one to blame but myself but I get an extra plot twist out of it, so I kind of start using these things. And I believe it goes to Bagel. The Bridge of Trolls have raised their tolls, and now you can and now you can only afford to live in a hole. Save me from poverty. Trolls are monsters that live in extreme places and take on the properties of their surroundings. Their resilience is renowned. You want a rock? You want to roll? You want a rock to roll? You want a troll? Thick skin and thick brain, these craggy creatures make fearsome foes. Okay, who do you want to hear from first? Migs put down first. Okay, so my skill is being able to time delay my attacks. So when the troll tries to punch or go, or uh, I, I can time delay to get through and dodge and, and do all those good things. But, but, but the real kicker here is that I'm coming with a giant beast equipped for battle. And who's to say, who's to say maybe this beast is twice the size of that troll and gobbles his face off. Which beast? What, which mythical beast do you have with you? Who is your favorite? I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm coming with a slime that dissolves bodies. Is it orange slime? It can be orange slime. <gasps> It can smell like jello, but dissolve oh. all of your bonesies. But yes, I come with my giant beast, which is slime. Doesn't seem like a beast, but really it is because it's it's a little bit sentient and it's going to like jello mold around the troll and dissolve his flesh and bones. Okay, the bridge trolls, plural. It's plenty of slime. There's plenty of slime to go around. How many plenty buckets? of slime to go around. How many buckets did it take it's, you to transport it's like that double, slime? It's like double dare. I have a special surfboard that I ride on top of the slime with <laughs> that can't be dissolved into it. So as long as I stay on top of it, I'm good. See, see that that's the best part of this plot so far. But unfortunately for you, a spell of invisibility was cast over the area so your slime can no longer see the trolls in order okay, to slime okay, he doesn't them. have eyes. He goes solely off of smell anyways. Ooh, look, that came back to bite you. Eh. He follows directions. What? Well, well, you're sight-based. How can you give directions for things you can't see? You honestly had me for a sec with the whole smells thing. Yes. Which I think it's more of a tactile smell thing. Smell out those ooze. trolls. Smell out those trolls. No, and no, no. Nom, I nom, nom, nom. Disagree. But you know what? It's not my adventure, so. Bagel, I am going to solve this in a non-violent fashion. I am able to counterfeit any object with great accuracy. So even though they've raised their tolls, I'm going to turn all of our gold pieces into platinum pieces so that we can pay whatever toll they happen to have. And just in case, just in case, one of them happens to make their intelligence roll to notice that it's counterfeit, that it's just painted gold, well, I've got some dragon's breath in a flask. And as we all know, if you try to damage trolls, you need either acidic or fire damage to keep them from regenerating. Well, that's fire damage. So um, we are set on both sides. And that that is a backup plan. What's important is that we can pay our way across. No. 
Yes. That does not solve the problem for the rest of the people that have to use the bridge. Do you want everybody else living in a hole except for the people that you choose to let go on? In this oh, particular that that partic- dictator. In this particular case, yes, I'm solving the immediate problem. The future problem can be a problem for future me. For future people, not you, that you are not in the party with. Maybe to they'll save. be even more creative. Oh, maybe they'll, I don't know, bring a slime and kill everyone. You're bringing a lot of maybes into that. If Superman argument. would just kill the villains, they wouldn't hurt anybody oh my gosh but then there'd be too many murderers in the world and that's how, that's how we get justice lords my god do not read the rest of the lore justice lords were justified they were not you're a terrible person anyway i've got my counterfeit and my dragon flask do you have any actual defense for that because i heard a very good defense for hers what? We either counterfeit money or we burn them. It's very straightforward. This plan is too convoluted. It's got too many moving parts. It will Too many fail. moving parts? It's slime. I mean, I mean... It congeals. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like, with your plan, you're only helping me and leaving the rest of the village to basically die. And with her plan, she's solving at least the immediate problem until they send backup. And there might not be backup. And that wh- might be all the trolls in the area. Or, or you could kick off an entire troll war. Maybe this is actually their bridge. We seem inclined to pay the toll. It belongs to them. And instead, you are murdering, trolls. murdering innocent trolls who are just defending their own land. Trolls you might not. kick off an entire war. Trolls do not have the capacity for complex buildings oh, such as... Racist. Look, they regenerate. Fire. They have strong arming and rock, rock lobbying. lobbying. They didn't build that bridge if they are designed to throw you the know, bridge. You they don't can still know carry that. rocks, though. And they regenerate. So if can we you don't, not also make bridges out of stone? If we don't annihilate their existence, oh they will my, return. Oh this my might turn genocidal. Mickler! Mickler! <laughs> They will I, believe, I believe we have debated this enough. Bagel, who do you think has the better the idea? The beast will come after you in the night. <laughs> okay, Oregon Trail. Uh, <laughs> just because I don't want another Migler coming around. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's try and incorporate one of the epilogues into this. So the epilogue is we roll or we, we flip a coin. Okay, dragon head size. Trolls are incredibly aggressive. They might throw rocks at people they like or hate or want to eat. It's no wonder why people are afraid of them. If you encounter a troll, it might, one, get you caught up in a dwarf and troll feud, two, throw you hard at something in your next adventure, three, follow you far away and continue to lob boulders at you. I'm going to go with number three. We'll try and incorporate this into our uh, next adventure. Side question. Mm-hmm. Now that we have gone through a whole round around the table. First to three. First to three. Okay. We can go with first to two if we need to wrap this up. Okay. For the sake of this demo, let's do first to two so that way we are not playing for hours and hours and hours. Like I'm having a great can. time. Well, well that, but I have to edit it. <laughs> that just means Shin can't win. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. These things happen from time to time. Ooh. Oh, big roll going on. Facing a dragon. Page 13. The penultimate form of power, a dragon is more than a simple beast terrorizing villages and cattle. It is, as a hurricane, an inevitable force of nature. Some fly, some breathe fire, all cast their shadows upon the waking and dreaming world. We are facing a dragon with fire breath. Bagel ordered me the point, so... I have a crown of telepathy and invisible hands... Think about it. I have telepathy. Wait, 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 wait. Plot twist. Your crown was stolen by sneaky halflings. <laughs> I have invisible hands. I, uh, screw the last plan. I can now pleasure the dragon without it knowing. Wow. <laughs> He'll be so... Wow. He'll be what? so... <laughs> And, and, and Bagel takes the wheel and huge left turn. <laughs> was the crowd to make it consensual? <laughs> the crowd was to throw it off. But I guess we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> the dragon will be so focused about what's happening in his little dragon trousers that he won't be able to attack. Therefore, that we could kill him. Or he'll fall into the volcano, which I'm assuming he's sitting on. Are we ready for mine? Um, <laughs> Can't be worse than mine. We can say, take the wheel, please. Drive <laughs> us back onto the road. So, I'm going to face this dragon with a dragon suit. 
Okay. I feel like that's a good start. You I'm, know. I'm following so far. I, I'm assuming, well, oh, there's a page we can look up here. I'm assuming that it's going to be, like, fireproof, but... Sure, again, you're, you're allowed to embellish these little things. Oh, it, it does not tell us about the suit, it just tells us about, about the dragon. dragons. Okay, so yes, I have my dragon suit, which I assume is fairly dragon-proof, can't, you know, bite through it, can't I, again, smoke sure, me why through not? it. Why not? And I have a skill of... Being able to astral project so that I can put myself in places where the dragon cannot... And no, I'm going to do myself. <laughs> where the dragon thinks it's going to hit me with fire but doesn't. And my ability to astral project is in the service of a royal family. And actions here would be counted as a declaration of war. So I'm going what? to bond. <laughs> bond. The dragon has many spies. Many, many spies with many, many eyes. That's fine. That's perfect. That actually works with me because as I'm astral projecting and it's considered an act of war and the king and queen send their forces, their entire giant army, navy, everything, the marines too, even the coast guard coming to get me, I'm going to rally them and say, but first friends, we have to thwart this dragon. That is the enemy of your enemy. You must defeat it. And, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. I no. am just going to point out that you're giving the speech while you're in a dragon suit. Yes. <laughs> Oh, great. It, it doesn't mean... It thinks you have not thought this it, thing. No, no, no. Dragon suit. Dragon suit does not mean that it's shaped like a dragon. It just means that it is made out of, like, oh, dragon scales. Oh, it's a, it's a dragon... Oh, it's a, oh. it's a double-breasted it's a double breasted dragon jacket. Yeah. And, 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 and trousers. You, how did you obtain this suit? Did you maybe steal it from the Royal Armory, which is why you are under attack right no, now? I'm under attack because my powers are in service of the Royal Family. I have pledged to only use it for them. But once the army comes, I have to be like, bras. But dragon. We can all have dragon suits and they'll go because they want these suits. What are dragon suits made out of? Dragons? That, yes, that, dragon scales. That is so... That's no why they're one, fireproof. Duh. No wonder these dragons are trying to kill you. You're I'm trying sorry. to kill. You're trying to kill them for a profit. I I'm didn't sorry. know you were a capitalist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just trying to be a lady of the night for the dragon. <laughs> at, <laughs> least the, at least the dragon will be happy as it dies. At least I didn't lose my crown of telepathy. Um, at least I, I know where my loyalties lie. I just want to know, Bagel. <laughs> You just said that the dragon would at least feel good as it was dying. How is it dying? <laughs> it seems to be a big, big loophole in your plans. Orgasmic shock! It's never had one before. She was Christian. She's she exploded. Chased Christian. Oh my! I mean, it's not it's not the power of friendship, but it is so absurd. It is so so out there i can't even i can't even and oh, with that this is how i find out that we're breaking up okay and and somehow somehow bagel manages to take the lead on this one you hate ah. yourself after after your last danger adventure that feels gross <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it softens your hands and makes them fireproof. Anyways, guys. Well, guys, this has been... <laughs> no longer PG! Stop. <laughs> stop, stop. This has been a left turn playing. Well, guys, this has been Danger the Game. And again, this is the fantasy theme Mythical Mayhem Edition. There are several different versions of this game, but they knew their audience when they saw us coming for this. And <laughs> I feel dirty now. I need a shower. What's the age rating? The age rating I... is 12 plus, so, so you barely kind of squeak in there with your innuendos. <laughs> All the cards are going to be fantasy themed. Comes with this lovely beast, Jerry. And I cannot emphasize how much I absolutely love these coins. And they're not so. like chintzy plastic Pokemon coins. No, no, like these yeah, are these metal. Are... They're, they have weight to them. But theoretically, you should be playing to the first person who gets three cards. You can play more. You can play less like we did. I hope that this demo has been helpful. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. That really helps us out. Tells the algorithm people are engaged with this and recommends this video at no cost to you. Well done, everyone. And remember... Please. Well done, everyone who decides to like and subscribe and share. Thank you. We appreciate you. You're the real heroes here. And remember, the family that plays together stays together. Until next time, everyone. Good night. Unless you're playing this game and you hate each other, like, <laughs> by the end of it. I'm sorry. That was a terrible choice to give her that last card. If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fangirl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!